Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Today's story comes to us from Sydney. Hey Sydney, she sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe you will turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for a story about a game of freeze tag that all of a sudden turns someone actually frozen? Me too, let's go! It was a beautiful day at the park. Sydney was playing with all of her friends and they were racing around the playground. What is your favorite game to play at the playground? There's so many different ones to choose, like lava or turtle tag or freeze tag or hide and seek. There's, oh my goodness, there are so many different games. Well, Sydney and her friends, they were playing freeze tag. And Sydney was it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ready or not, here I come. She started running around, and Sydney was very fast. Ah! All of her friends were shouting and trying to run away. Sydney started tagging them one by one. Tag, frozen, you're frozen. Ah! And now what happens if you get tagged and you're frozen? How do you get unfrozen? Yeah, one of your other friends has to tag you and then you become unfrozen, hopefully before Sydney catches everybody. Because if she freezes everybody, then she wins and the game is over. Well, Sydney was very fast, faster than most of her other friends. And in just a few minutes, she had frozen everybody. Woohoo! I won! shouted Sydney. All right, let's play again. Who wants to be it? Everyone was looking around. They had all now become unfrozen. Wait, Isaiah, we're, uh, the game's done. You can be unfrozen. <laughs> Isaiah, <laughs> I, I, I love that you're committed to being frozen, said Sydney, but the game is now over. We're going we're gonna to do it again so you can be unfrozen for real. Wait a second. Are you actually frozen? <gasps> Sydney couldn't believe it. She turned around to all of her friends who their mouths were hanging open. Somehow, Isaiah had actually become frozen. Dun, dun, dun. What are they going to do? Oh, no. How do we... How did this happen? You see, there was an old, old, long ago legend. Do you know what a legend is? Yeah, a legend is like a, an old story that they've told for years and years and years. Well, there was an old legend that the kids used to talk about, about this park. You see this playground? They had heard a legend that something strange happens here every once in a while if you stand in, in a certain spot. Something strange like the game actually comes to life. Like the game that you're playing becomes for real. Well, I wonder if Isaiah has stepped in that certain spot of this playground. There's some kind of magic under those wood chips. I don't know, said Sydney. But guys, I, th I think we got to go to Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain! All of the friends were very afraid of that mountain. It was a mountain that you could see from the playground. It was off in the distance, but it just looked really scary looking. It was pokey, and it had really big cliffs, and it looked, I don't know. There were lots of legends about that mountain as well, and no one was brave enough to climb it. Guys, I'm serious, said Sydney. I think this might be the only way to get Isaiah unfrozen. I don't know, Sydney. We're not very good at exploring and adventuring. We're not as good as you, said one of her friends. I think it's time. Uh, I, I, I think I need to go home. Bye. Pretty soon, one by one, all of the friends left. Except Isaiah. He was still frozen. <laughs> so it was just Sydney and Isaiah standing in this park. Sydney started to think. Okay, I really think I could do this. 
I have all the gear and... All right, Isaiah, I'm not going to give up on you. I am going to get you unfrozen. Not sure how, not sure when, but I'm never going to stop until we do. It was really hard for Isaiah to talk, but I think he was saying thank you to Sydney. Sydney dragged Isaiah over to a park bench and let him lay down there. He was still frozen, so he couldn't move, but she was able to get him onto that bench. That would be a little more comfortable and safer. All right, gotta go get my stuff. Sydney raced home, grabbed all of her gear, and off she hiked. She had to get to Magic Mountain fast. It was already past lunch, and so there weren't that many more hours left in the daytime. And she had to get him unfrozen before it became nighttime. Sydney had been running as fast as she could towards the mountain. She had all her gear and her hiking boots, and there it was. She was now standing in front of the mountain, looking straight up into the sky. Can you imagine a really tall mountain, and what if you were standing right next to it? Wow, it looks even taller from right next to it, said Sydney, but I gotta do this. Another part of the legend of Magic Mountain is that there was some kind of magical creature that lived on this mountain that guarded a magical cure, a cure that she hoped would save Isaiah. As she started to climb the mountain and get higher and higher, it pretty quickly got windy and cold. As the winds howled, Sydney was glad that she had brought her jacket and her hats and gloves, because this was very cold. Probably as cold as Isaiah was feeling since he was completely frozen. So Sydney knew that she had to just choose to be brave and choose to not let the coldy cold wind get in her way. She continued hiking further and further up Magic Mountain. None of her friends had ever gotten this far, and so she was pretty proud of herself. And then all of a sudden, she heard a sound. (coughs) What are you doing? Who is that? (coughs) What was that sound? Was that the sound of the creature that guards the magical cure on the mountain? (gasps) I don't know. It sounds a little silly, but a little scary. We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kid Short Stories. Bye. Hey, friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Jackson, who's turning seven years old. Jackson loves soccer. He's an amazing big brother to his little sister, Kennedy, and loves listening to Mr. Jim podcast in the car. Holy smokes, Jackson. I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy seventh birthday. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.